Well, hello again for some more take home physics. Huh? <clears throat> what you've already done is calculate the speed at which you're making circles due to the daily rotation of the Earth. You did that at four different latitudes. The equator, 40, which is those of us here in Cincinnati, uh, or if you use 39, it doesn't matter. Maybe a place a little farther south, maybe a place a little farther north, but you have different speeds that somebody sitting still, stuck in the house in quarantine, not moving, you're still moving. The planet Earth is making circles every day around its axis, so the circumference of that circle that it makes divided by 24 is the number of miles per hour that you're moving in circles even when you're sitting there doing nothing. All right. The second part of this assignment to tell me how fast you're making circles or moving is to take it one step farther and say, well, the Earth isn't just making circles around its axis. You guys all know the Earth is also making circles around the sun. It makes one of those circles per year, which you already know. That's 365 days. We'll use that number if you want to use 366, because this is a leap year. I really don't care if you want to call it 365. 0.25, because that's typically what any given year is. Go right ahead, don't matter. But the point is, you're going, you're going to want to tell me the miles per hour speed that the Earth is traveling around the Sun. In order to do that, you're going to have to look up the radius of the Earth's orbit around the Sun, but make sure it's in miles. All right, once you have that number, then you know you're going to multiply it by 2 pi, and that will equal the circumference, okay? The circumference of the Earth's orbit. Once you get that number, divide it by the number of hours in a year, which is the number of days times the number of hours. So. 365 times 24, as long as that's in parentheses, you got it. Now, that's the miles per hour speed that the Earth is orbiting the Sun. And what you'll then do with that number is push the plus or minus button to the speed that you calculate that you're going in circles due to the Earth's rotation around its axis. Okay, the reason you push either the plus or minus button is because of this. From viewed up above the Sun, the Earth and all the planets rotate counterclockwise. From viewed up above the planet Earth's North Pole, it also rotates counterclockwise. So, <clears throat> Folks, on the same side of the Earth is, is, <clears throat> is the sun. That's the daytime. <coughs> Excuse me. Those folks are orbiting, or I'm sorry, are rotating on the Earth's axis in the opposite direction the Earth is revolving around the sun. So since you're rotating in the opposite direction you're revolving, then your speed, your actual speed, is less than what it would be if the Earth weren't rotating. So you take the orbital, or the rotational velocity that you calculated here, and subtract the velocity you got from hanging out in Cincinnati. During the day, people go slower. That's why you push the minus button. Now look what happens at night. Those same people now at nighttime on the opposite side of the Earth are rotating in the same direction that the Earth is revolving. So if you're rotating in the same direction you're revolving, then you push the plus button, right? Same means push the plus button. So <clears throat> at nighttime, you're moving faster than you're moving during the daytime, even when you're stuck in quarantine, not moving at all. And if I were to make a graph of the speed at which you're orbiting, the speed at which you're moving <clears throat> as a function of time. At night, you're going faster, like I said, then you go a little slower. 
and then you're going faster and then you're going slower and faster and slower and faster. So at nighttime, midnight, you're going the fastest. Daytime, noon, you're going the slowest. Nighttime, midnight, you're going the fastest. Daytime, noon, you're going the slowest. So that graph is a sine curve and it fluctuates. Remember, at nighttime, you're going faster because you're rotating in the same direction you're revolving. Daytime, you're going slower because you're rotating in the opposite direction you're revolving. And so this overall assignment <clears throat> that uh, is just a you know, continuation of us going in circles, it's just a neat thing to see that even if you're stuck inside, not doing anything, you're sitting on the couch, you're <clears throat> eating Cheetos, you're drinking Mountain Dew, you're doing physics, even though you're not going anywhere, you're still going places, kid. Huh? You're still going places. And what you'll tell me by 5 p.m. Friday, March 27th, you will do this math like I just showed you. <clears throat> Look up the radius of the Earth's orbit in miles. Multiply it by 2 pi. That's the circumference of the Earth's orbit divided by the number of hours it takes to make one of those orbits. That's the speed in miles per hour that the Earth revolves around the sun, okay? I want to see that number on a sheet of paper with the math worked out. Then I want you to push the plus button to the speed that the Earth rotates or that you're moving due to the rotation of the Earth just by being in Cincinnati. That's how fast you're going at night. Label that nighttime velocity. Then I want you to push the minus button and say, okay, daytime velocity is that revolution velocity that you got minus the speed that you calculated just by being here in Cincinnati. And your velocity will end up going higher, lower, higher, lower. So that's the math I want to see Friday, March 27, 5 p.m. What I will do is put a quiz in Schoology. Even though it won't be graded as a quiz, it will be checked as a homework assignment. The one you did on Wednesday is simply the velocity at four different latitudes. The one that will be due Friday, March 27, 5 p.m. is this math that I just showed you. And then you either push the plus or minus button based on daytime or nighttime. So I want to see nighttime speed, daytime speed of people sitting in Cincinnati, stuck in quarantine, not going anywhere, still going somewhere, kids. All right, so feel free, email me with any issues. Just remember, the Earth spins on. Virus or not, the universe continues, and so does physics. I miss you guys. I'm sorry we're not uh, physicating in person. The good news is, the universe spins on, eh? Yay, physics.